is RMS? RMS is one of those terms that we see all the time in audio in the specs for speakers and amplifiers, as well as when we're mixing and mastering. RMS stands for root mean square and is a mathematical method used by engineers to look at the continuous power handling or power output of a device. RMS is used because there's a problem with measuring audio amplitude. It's constantly changing. And the more complex the waveforms or source, the harder it is to get an accurate reading on the average level. So with RMS, the values are squared, then the mean value is calculated over a period of time, and finally the square root of that mean value is calculated, giving the RMS rating. So you can think of RMS as a way of averaging the audio amplitude, or in other words, a way of getting an average voltage level measurement for an electrical signal. Now there are other ways to look at this as well, such as RMS being equal to the level of a DC signal that would provide the same average power as a periodic or changing signal. In practical terms, we can think of RMS as the average power rating versus a peak or maximum power rating that can be delivered or handled over a very short period of time. RMS is a more realistic rating of power produced and power level that can be handled without reduced sound quality, added distortion, or damage to the equipment. Now I recommend looking very carefully at specs when you're shopping. Some manufacturers rate their products based on RMS or continuous power, while others rate their products based on peak power, which is always going to be substantially higher. Peak power might look more impressive and it can be a useful spec, but for comparison purposes, peak rating is far less useful in determining the actual amount of power we're talking about than RMS. So I recommend always using RMS ratings when comparing and matching gear. There's another way that the term RMS is used in audio, and that's as the average level for a signal or mix. So for example, in mastering, we try to raise the RMS or average level of the signal, which translates to higher perceived volume. This is because our ears are actually RMS reading devices, not peak reading devices. Generally, this is accomplished by controlling and reducing peak levels so the overall level can be increased without danger of clipping the signal or adding distortion, and this results in a higher average level. If you want to learn more about audio and music concepts like this, visit the news and research page at Sweetwater.com or check out the other videos in our Glossary Terms playlist.